SMT Nation, we back. Nation, please do check out our partner, Mint Mobile. The partner link is in the description. Also, I'd like to let you know that I now have a buy me a coffee. So buy me a coffee. Link is in the description if you'd like to support the SMT with that. All right, for today's news, the story is about T-Mobile's fixed wireless access, their 5G home internet, and the outlook for 2023. It says here, based on this particular title, slowing growth and rural expansion. All right, so it doesn't sound all bad. It sounds like maybe they have peaked in growth and uh, they're going to be kind of approaching a different location or a different type of customer. Okay, so this new phase being proposed here uh, in the writing of this article from Mike Dano, light reading, link in the description, is that there is going to be an emphasis on growth in rural America. Now, the thing about rural America is there's not as many customers there. You just look at the dynamics of the millions of pops around the country. Rural America has the least, has the lowest numbers. The urban core has the most customers, and you have suburban, and then just by population, it's rural. So, you know, you just look at space, and for the most part, people are spaced out in rural America, right? So you just don't have the sheer numbers. And then with respect to the growth rate, that might be part of the reason, right? Why it's going to slow down. It's just a smaller pool, and I also think that the competition has ramped up a lot. And I think specifically from Big Cable, they have responded. And I think also with Verizon 5G home internet, it's legitimate, right? They offer a, a solid service at a solid price point that even T-Mobile has to say, you know, is going to impact them in terms of their overall growth. All right, so um, with T-Mobile kind of looking at the 7 to 8 million mark for how many customers they'll have on the service, I, I think those are probably the main factors, right? And there's still some room to run for T-Mobile. I think with respect to their upgrades, the more upgrades they can kind of complete for the sake of the N41 upgrades, that basically enables them to put more people on the T-Mobile home internet within the, the, the rural setting. And the reason they know that things have slowed down and they likely will continue is they said that the T-Mobile Home Internet app, right, the download rate, has declined. And that indicates that with less people downloading the app, that means, you know, less people are taking to the service, uh, the rate of uptake. So it's a good marker of T-Mobile's efforts because it's exclusively intended for the T-Mobile fixed wireless access customers, according to Evercore analysts. Uh, and it was down 8% Q4. I mean, we could also look at the net ads. They've also dipped slightly. Okay, so the T-Mobile home internet moving forward, you know, if we've been averaging five, six, seven hundred thousand 700,000 net ads, you know, there's probably not going to be many of those quarters left. I think we still have one or two quarters left where they hit the, uh, I think two quarters left where they hit 500,000 net ads. But I think... You know, as we go through this year, I think Verizon continues because, you know, they're still getting C-band. Uh, their, their channels are widening, right? They're going to go from 60 megahertz to, on average, 160 megahertz. So their prospects in rural also stands to do pretty well. And I think also with big cable, like take, for example, the Spectrum One bundle, right? That has really caught some traction. And that takes away potential business for both. Verizon and I think more so T-Mobile okay so that that bundle and I think also you know and it's not just the spectrum one bundle but also you know charter with uh with uh what's what is it uh, Comcast Xfinity you know their response will will be something to watch this year as well but I think those factors all kind of come into this and I I don't think this is a bad thing and I'll explain why the T-Mobile home internet customer if there's less of them on a tower if there's less of them getting the service, it provides more capacity per user. So less people using it on the home internet side helps the, uh, you know, the experience per home internet user. It doesn't really change the life of the mobile network customer because the mobile customer gets priority, right? So they're always going to have a better experience than a home internet customer. But when you look at it like that, like if you have five T-Mobile home con home internet customers connected on a sector, on a tower, you know, that's going to offer a better experience than say, for example, if there's 10 of them. So the, it's not, it's not a bad thing. 
Uh, so not at all. And then for you know Verizon, they offer an actual QCI, an actual quality of service expectation of 300 down and 20 up on the C-band version of 5G home internet. So, the, you know, it's just a little bit different. You know, but the, the expectation through this year, according to an, uh, analysts, looks like T-Mobile's going to slow down a bit. And I think that's going to show by the end of the year numbers. You know, I don't think I don't think they're going to add more than, say, for example, what they added in 2022. All right. So I think it's going to be just like maybe 10 percent less. All right. So if they added, you know, two million this year uh, or I should say 2022, maybe expect just shy of that. Right. One point eight million or something. One point eight five million. I think they'll be right around there. And that puts them on track to to in two years basically hit half of their target or slightly above half of their target because you got to count the baby the early adopters from 2021 but these are still good measures and they're still good numbers but uh t-mobile's competitive and the it's what people want you guys remember the, the toyota versus ferrari explanation from ceo mike sievert at the earnings conference i think it's true people are looking for a good deal prices that don't explode and while cable still does that t-mobile isn't and that puts them in the ball game you know it keeps them as an option on the table uh, but I think I think those are the pressures. I think it's Verizon expanding their services, and I think it's big cable kind of like responding back and answering. But what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. While well, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never send upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to the YouTube members and the Patreon supporters for making channel content possible. Appreciate you all very much. Don't forget, you can support me and buy me a coffee. Link in the description. And also, shout out to our partner, Mint Mobile. Part of the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.